Hi everybody, welcome to the Sister Lock Diva channel. So today what I'm talking about is a product review. Woohoo! Talking about a product review with, here we go, Talia Wahid's Lock It Up. So let me tell you a little bit about this product um, first. So with this product, uh, the cost approximately is $9.99 which was a really good price that I paid at a beauty store. You might be able to get it a little bit cheaper at like an Amazon or a Target kind of place, um, but I thought $9.99 was fair for um, a styling gel. So as far as what it um, says to do on the bottle, it does says, it says that it adds moisture and sheen. It says that it holds with no flaking and it can also define your natural curl pattern. And what I like about the product is it's not just for locks. So people who are not lock wearers, you know, have no fear. You can use this product too. So who can use this product? So they suggested on the bottle that how transitioners or relaxed um, chemically processed hair, you could use it to slick the hair back and do an updo. You can use this to start traditional locks. You can use this product to also uh, maintain traditional locks, as well as creating twists. Uh, you can also use this on uh, your short TWA to define curls. Uh, so I like that it had a lot of different uses. That was really attractive to me. Um, I also liked the no flaking piece, that it has the hold you need without flaking. Um, sometimes with gels such as, I've heard a lot of people talk about kinky curly curling custard, how it leaves that white residue on their hair and people just don't like that. So I like that the product claimed it had no flaking, but obviously I wasn't going to know until I tried it. So I also liked that it is a light product. When I uh, actually got a chance to try it out, I noticed that it was very light in texture, and I liked that in a gel. It wasn't heavy, so I really liked that. So what does this stuff look like? Well, let me show you. I'm going to show you real quick. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go again. So as you can see, it's like um, a yellowish, brownish kind of color. Uh, and like I said, it's a really lightweight gel, which I really love. Gonna close that up here. So, how did I use this product? So a couple of you who are on my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash the dot sister locked dot diva or you can just search the sister locked diva on Facebook. I posted a picture of a retighten for my boyfriend's traditional locks and what I did was um, he first washed his hair with Kinky Curly, uh, the Come Clean Shampoo. Then what he did is he oiled the scalp with coconut oil and then used this product for the actual lock maintenance or the retightening. So that's how I was using this product. I can say that I like that it was very lightweight. It didn't leave a residue as I was sitting there um, retightening his hair. I didn't feel like, oh, what's all this greasy, uh, flaky stuff on his hair? So I really liked that. Um, I did not have him sit under the dryer, mainly because what was going on that day and time constraints. So it went straight from having the uh, clips holding um, the new growth in place to putting it immediately into a style. And when I saw the finished product from his style, one thing I really noticed was that, wow, he does have a lot of nice sheen to his hair. But I also felt like the product also had very good hold. I felt like his edges looked very crisp. 
Um, I felt like the style, uh, which was simply just corn rolled back into a low bun. I just felt like it was a really um, a smooth look uh, as I was looking, admiring the style um, in his hair. I probably would say the drawbacks to this product... I don't know so much about the stopping frizz. That is one of the claims that they have. And I would probably try it again and have him sit under the dryer before I say definitely that it doesn't do that. Um, but at least from what I'm seeing now, a week, week and a half-ish later, there is definitely some frizz. That could be his hair texture. He has that really tight coil pattern. So like a 4B, 4C. Um, it could be how he wrapped his hair or took care of his hair over the week and a half since the style was done. Um, so I would have to see again with um, setting him under the dryer and seeing what is the hold like then. Um, but as far as when the hair was freshly done, I will have to say, uh, uh, thumbs up. I thought it was a great product. I really enjoyed it. And um, those are all my thoughts on Talia Wahid's Lock It Up. So, whether you're trying to define your curls, whether you are trying to do your traditional lock maintenance, or you're trying to do a two-strand twist style and you really need something that's going to hold your hair well, that Talia Wahid Lock It Up might be a good option for you. I will say because of the texture of the gel, if you're that looser curl pattern, like a one or a two or even a three, I don't know how strong the hold would be because it had a lot of slip to it. So I would be interested to see on someone who has a different type of curl pattern how that product would behave on their hair. Um, but that would be probably my only cautionary factor. So thanks for watching. Next time I'm going to do another hair video. Uh, don't think it'll be a product review, but sharing more information about natural hair to everybody all over the world. Thanks for watching. Bye!